Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is 100% confirmed that Rio is going to get removed within this next week. If you guys are unfamiliar, CSGO has been on a rampage today with tweets. That is, of course, regarding CSGO's most recent updates. The first one's about the doodle lore, which there will be a video on that very soon, but I just got home and we're going to cover the newest topic first. Very similar to how Antwerp 2022 ended, where they announced the removal when they were doing so, they just did this with Rio. Now, is this a continuous thing they're going to do in the future? I'm not 100% sure. For this video, we're going to take a look at the market of Rio, give my thoughts on the future of these kind of tweets, how it affects the market in more so of a negative manner, but also the fact that it's good that this thing is finally going. Now, today's video sponsor is, of course, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is currently the easiest and also fastest way you can buy, but most importantly, trade your CSGO skins. All you have to do is make sure you have your trade link, and on your first trade, if you have a leftover balance, it goes towards your current balance that can be used the next time you end up trading skins. It has three ways you can inspect, but most importantly, has a very in-depth inspect feature that you can see corners on a karamet for an example you can't really see otherwise unless you have the item in game if you end up topping up your balance make sure to use promo code mando to get up to a 35 percent deposit bonus and a free five dollars on the first trade so eight minutes ago as of me recording this video they said heads up the last day to purchase rio 2022 stickers is monday february 20th five days from right now now the 20th of february is on a monday not a tuesday which this a couple years ago would probably happen on a tuesday and this is a continuous pattern i've seen throughout this year and will last as well where updates now can pretty much happen any single day like they could have before but in prior years if it wasn't an immediate needed fix they would just do it on Tuesday which is kind of interesting now the replies to this tweet are very interesting as well a lot of people saying finally Jesus replied saying this already hurts the Rio investors who thought this was going to be good in the first place which I very much agree with now of course my thoughts on the situation so they did this with Antwerp 2022 on top of the already over investment because Stockholm was proven to be successful people over invested a lot more and that's exactly what I think is going to happen to Rio right now now. now, why are they doing this? I think it's because people want an official date and Valve maybe wants to make these kind of events, stickers specifically, more of an announcement. This begs the question, is CSGO's next operation case or even Source 2 going to be announced in this manner as well? That'd be pretty cool. Besides overinvestment, this makes CSGO feel a little less special when it comes to updates because before it was just random. So it's good and bad, whatever way you want to look at it. Now, the market for Rio is something I want to take a look at right now because this is kind of interesting. As more capsules and stickers get untrade banned in this next week from people buying these up and passes the next five days, you're going to see a lot more of these things get added to the market. The highest quantity in any single one of these capsules is the Legends with 28 cents, 41,000 quantity, and that's pretty low considering it's the end of a 75% off sale. Because if you compare this to Antwerp 2022, the regular base versions of the Legends capsule was a little over 500,000 at the point of it getting removed. But obviously there were a lot different circumstances being Stockholm's success and also these looking so good. These, not so much. Now, do I think these are going to be proven to be great? I'm not so sure. More on the side of not. This is definitely the most gamble of a major we've had in years, especially it already being low. That is a main driving factor for a lot of people, but just because the supply is very low doesn't mean the demand is going to be high, which means the price might not go up, at least as fast as you want it to. Most of these teams, especially the most expensive ones like Mouse and Cloud9 from Antwerp, obviously Mouse from Stockholm, those are very expensive for those major stickers. The reason these could be possibly successful, at least this next few months anyway, before the Paris major, is because people are going to want a cheaper alternative, also because of the scrape ability. You can pretty much make this sticker scrape so well, it looks like a transparent sticker with leaving a kind of crap outline on the side. Same thing with the capsules though, because of this announcement, people are going to buy these up and try to also unbox these to add them more on the market. Because it's not seven days from today, the update coming out, it might take an extra couple to see the market's pretty much downfall of this major, if it is overinvested anyway. The biggest problem I have with these stickers and capsules is the amount of time they have to grow. It's not very long. The Paris major is in just a couple of months, or three from right now anyway, and we're going to get those stickers three weeks, most likely before the major, possibly even a month. So a month and a half to two months of growth for these things isn't enough. You take a look at Stockholm, lowest quantity in years in some major stickers, let alone the best looking in almost 10. And while it almost took two and a half for it to get to a very substantial point where people were like, oh my gosh, this might be the next Cato, though it's not. The guaranteed way these will be very good, I think as an investment and safe for you, is if the Paris major stickers are going to be bad. But if we take a look at some concepts, that doesn't mean everything, especially when it comes to major stickers, because Valve picks them and makes them themselves, could result in a pretty interesting increase. Let me know what you guys think down below. So right now I'm in the post edit and I'm still wondering why they would tweet this out. Same thing goes in Antwerp 2022. I think one of the main reasons being is it's kind of a marketing tactic and technique they can use. It's pretty much free promotion beside all the people making videos on it. It's to create a bit of a panic and also hype for them to make money. And that's what I think it really is at the end of the day. Pretty much a big ad for them saying, hey, these are going to be removed. Buy them and you're never going to be able to get them again, at least for that retail price. Let me know what you guys think. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out, guys. Peace. Video on the doodle lore very soon.